Hi friends, and welcome back to a new video of the Real Estate Masterclass. And as always, we will talk about real estate, of course. Now today, I'm going to introduce to you the tax system in the Netherlands and how it works. And why is this important? It's because it allows you to get an impression as well, of course, to get an understanding of how the tax system is to be used in your real estate journey. And to do that, let me distinguish then three boxes. I know what are those boxes that I'm talking about and why are they called boxes, but I'm just going to write them out here for you right now, which is box two and of course box three. Now let me start with these three boxes and what they actually mean. So in the Netherlands, we have a three box system that basically means depending on the wealth or the income uh, and where you're getting it from, that income will be classified actually in one of those three boxes. So if you are working or you're getting an income from you know, your sole property ship, this is actually where you, know, you could say the active income is then being charged, right? And in the maximum case, in, so in the, in, the, in, in the worst case you could say, you will be taxed about 50% of your income, yeah? And then we have a box two, which is actually that you have a stake or shares in a company. And in a company, if you own a company, of course, like a limited liability corporation, you will actually be charged this year in 2022, about 15% up to 395,000 euros profit. And above that number, you'll be charged 29 uh, sorry, 26.9% profit tax above 395,000 euros profit on your company. Then, if you actually are going to remove the, you know, the profit from your holding to your personal name, also the dividend payout, you'll be also be paying about 25% of that as dividend tax to the government, okay? And then box three is why a lot of people love real estate investing in the Netherlands, because this is actually the lowest tax bracket you could get in, box, in the, of the three boxes, of course, because this is really about like passive income and you could also say passive investments. So if you, for instance, oh, so if you, for instance, would buy a property for buy to let purposes, so you buy a property and then, you know, you have a property manager that runs it for you and rents it out, etc. You are doing things quite passively, which actually allows you to pay zero taxes. So I, as an investor, have the option not to pay taxes here in the Netherlands. And why is that? It's because the way they actually calculate my wealth, is in the following. It's actually the value of the object minus, of course, my mortgage. However, the value of my object is sometimes taken from one or two years ago. Therefore, especially in a market that increased in price, my mortgage will therefore be higher than the value of my property, which therefore allows me to pay zero tax on the fact that I own the real estate. And rental income is exempt from taxes because I am passively investing, yeah? So also in box three, you have different you know, brackets, you could say, if you're going above 100,000 euros in wealth in the box three calculations, you will end up, of course, paying a bit of tax. But because I own real estate, I don't pay tax. Now, if I compare to, for instance, the United States, they often have this deferred tax system. We don't have that here we're not deferring taxes. We just simply don't pay taxes if we own the real estate for rental purposes. So if you wanna do, for instance, a fix and flip, which is also very interesting, and you know, of course, often, uh, well, maybe see in them bigger pockets, you will actually fall, however, in a box one category because it is an active income. If you buy a house, you renovate it, and add value to that, and you make a profit on that, it can be seen as an active income. And therefore, you might be charged up to 50% of your profit on that case. So if you then see these three categories, it is, of course, very interesting to see where and how you make money. So a lot of international friends or expats, 
they make 100, 200,000 euros in salaries here, and they maybe pay 50% income because you also have the benefit, of course, of the 30% ruling, which allows you to, well, pay 30% less, you could say. But in the worst case, you'll still end up in a 50% income tax bracket, right? So if you make 100,000 euros net, you could say, oh, sorry, gross, you could end up paying maybe 50K as taxes. Here, you pay, well, depending on how much profit you make, a different tax. But if you're able to use your hard-earned income and use that for passive investments, such as real estate, you're able to pay actually zero euro in taxes. Especially in real estate, you don't have to actually pay taxes for the fact that you own the real estate, plus, again, your rental income, is tax exempted. So either you can make 100,000 euros of income here, therefore pay 50%, or you make 100,000 euros with real estate income, such as buy to let, and not pay taxes. So then my question to you is, which one do you prefer? Yeah, so let me know also which one you prefer. Leave a comment behind in the video below. And don't forget to subscribe yourself by clicking the subscribe button below. And I'm looking forward to hear your comments. If you have any comments or you want to have a new video uploaded in English soon, please don't forget to leave a comment behind below and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.